食べられない方を食べてしまうとどうなるの Probably poison. まずいそれとも毒がなな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、なな、Another day, another anime. What's going on, guys? It's Ruin here with another episode for you. Today, we're gonna watch Dungeon Meshi episode 5. I believe. Are we on episode 5 already? Right, we are. Yeah, and it's titled Snacks and Sorbet. Alright, so what happened last episode of Dungeon Meshi?、Uh, we had orcs. For a second there, we thought they're gonna eat orcs because based on the structuring of these episode titles, They usually put the food they're gonna eat、uh, per episode, right? So when they suddenly change and say orcs, I'm like, what? <laughs> Are they gonna eat orcs? Are orcs not people in there?、Uh, not like、uh, a race here, but actually like just food?、No. But it wasn't. It was more of like a political thing where, you know, racism and, and stuff like that, which is nice. I enjoy more stuff like that, like uh, uh, more complex stories. Not just like I thought for a while it was just gonna be just cooking. But I have said、um, previously that it, this seems like more of those shows where、uh, the deeper we go, the, the, so does the lore kind of thing. It seemed, it seemed simple at first, but you know, it's gonna get deeper, which I like. I like it in a lot of my stories. I like to,、uh, to not say get involved, but I like to be、um, immersed. In the story, so it's nice that、uh, we're getting more about the world building. So, yeah, we we had the orcs last time, and we had cabbages. Basically, we learned about that Senshi is the one taking care of one of the levels, and it's like the bathrooms are clean because he takes the poop and all the waste and uses it as fertilizer for his uh his golem, right? He has a little golem. Garden going on, and apparently, those are the last three golems in that floor. He hasn't found any, those are the last remaining ones, and uses it to uh to uh raise uh vegetables, and then which in turn uses to like cook because it's inside like a, a structure, and you can't really like hunt for food and grow stuff, and that's the only way he can grow stuff is through like golems. And then, of course, the the orc the orc the situation. Where they're basically displaced, but then it's kind of their fault because their culture is to like invade and stuff. You know? I, I don't even know how they survive for that long. If if your if your way of life is basically just invading and pillaging other villagers, surely like the more advanced one will just like wipe you out, right? That's the reason, the whole reason why they're living in dungeons now, but because they kept. Invading and pillaging, and they kept getting pushed back, and they kept getting killed and hunted down to the point where they're living in the dungeon. And now they're like killing pretty much like everyone else they see in the dungeon as like a revenge almost kind of thing. Which is at some point, they'll be like, I think what we're doing, you think someone will be like, Hey, I think this is not working. Maybe we should try, like, I don't know, what are they doing? The、humans over there doing agriculture, maybe we should do that kind of thing, you think, right? And maybe they'd be like butchers or something, right? Like, they, they yeah, that's basically agriculture. They grow like、uh, animals and they're like, they'll just do that, right? You think they do that, right? Apparently, no, they're still doing the same thing because we saw that. Um, they basically um went in the bar and then they killed everyone pretty much everyone except the、uh, Senshi's friends, which is our heroes. Our main protagonist, and then they just pillaged the hell out of the bar.、Uh, at first, I thought, like, wow, they're going for the death. But、uh, if you guys remember, the deaths are not as heavy because you can just get revived. They just bring your body out and you get revived, or you, you have the diamond and you get revived. So it doesn't bring too much weight, the deaths in this、uh, show, but it has happened. But yeah, that's it for the for the recap.、Uh, the last episode. And、uh, we're going to go ahead and start it. And this one might be a little lighter, a little sweeter based on the title alone. Because it's what? Sorbet. Snacks and sorbet. So、uh, maybe a little lighter. All right. And just a reminder I,、uh, 
uh leave a comment down below what do you guys think um all that jazz subscribe leave a comment other shows you guys want me to watch free rent is heating up also uh, solo leveling is finally good we're past the beginning phase um uh, also i'm watching this uh yeah if you guys have any suggestions uh, leave a comment down below and uh get subscribed all that jazz um and then uh so you guys get um updated too when i start streaming again but yeah let's go ahead get started episode five dungeon mission is this also in the dungeon or is this like the, the other characters are these like the uh hmm what's that their team boy Is that a dog person? I like the art in this. I'll definitely read this after the show's over. <laughs> they just get this guy just came in and eat their food. <laughs> like what the heck are you? Who's she? Who are these people? Hmm. He's being modest about it. Oh. No, oh, it's a doggy. What the heck? Is he a kobold? What is that? It's pretty cool though. It's a lot of food. I wonder if they hunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to scare them. I mean, these guys survive. This is gonna be our main. Oh, okay, never mind. Hey, don't jinx it. I want to hear the dog talk. <laughs> the design kind of reminds me of... Uh, what's that? Uh, Nichijo. Nichijo, the dog. There's a dog's head. It's because the dragon's up. Remember? We found out. Oh, we gotta check. Probably a family thing. <laughs> it's actually the golden gems. Oh, it's the dog. They gotta move around because of the red dragon. I guess the red dragon woke up and it's like wreaking havoc. Yeah, treasure. It's a big motivation right there. Yeah, very cool. I hope that's not a red flag. <laughs> No. Oh. 
Nee, nach da. Ja, den denn? They can't be dead. Don't touch it, don't touch it. It's the sword, the sword's reacting. They were monsters all along. They were insects. Oh. <laughs> oh no, more <laughs> soon. What did you do? What did you do? You got flashbang. <laughs> That's crazy. The sword. How many does it say about the sword? Was that an actual coin? That's cool though. <laughs> Don't tell me they're gonna eat it. He's checking which ones are the real gold. Oh. What? What? I mean, they were high protein. Marcel is just like, yeah, they're all pretty bright. Oh, wow. Mid. What does it say? Uh, osu. Ne. Nes. What was that? What was that? The katakana's rusty. Right, that's an O. Osu. Nesu. So, otoko. Male is on the left. Female on the right. Feels like Nesan. Right? Osu. Yeah. When they wake up, Damn. oh, those are eggs. Oh, that's crazy. I like Marcel's face, man. She's just like, oh. Yeah, because it looks like it's metallic. Oh, okay. Why? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> She's like bugs. Does it taste like boba? I wonder if it tastes like boba. <laughs> She's like conflicted. So that's what it meant like desserts. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah. Is he gonna feed it? Yeah. <laughs> Probably poison. No, 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 those are real money. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, why would you say that? Why would what? Oh, dude. Bruh. I should have said that at the beginning. Why did he say that? You can't eat those. Because that's what I thought too, they're like inedible. Or I mean, they they, they purposely did that. Because like when they first appeared, I said like, oh, are those the real ones? But it's like, no, those are inedible. So I assume they're like poisonous and stuff. You should have just said in the beginning, oh, those are real. What happens if you get spotted by ghosts? Talon's more like a white mage, I think. Oh. How do ghosts work? How do ghosts work in this world? Oh. Yeah. No, you get frozen. There's gonna be a lot of them. You're gonna attract them. Her voice is so familiar.
Yeah, she's more like a white mage. The other one's a red mage. Offensive attacks. She's a healer. Holy! Oh! <laughs> she gives him a... Oh. <laughs> yeah, she's an offensive type, so it's like... <laughs> hey, chill. Yeah, they can go through walls, man. He's pretty experienced. He's been living in the dungeon for a long time. You boil the hell out of it? <laughs> Is that what he's gonna do? Golden Beetle? Is that an Egyptian thing? Mm. Oh yeah, sure. So, you see that like in uh... <laughs> I think he is. Is he going to get a flashback? <laughs> That's not fucking holy water. <laughs> he just made a. He just made a. <laughs> Because it goes through them instead of using holy water. That's true. I mean, that's one way to do it because they have very limited. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good.
That's cool. <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can damage them. Yeah. He's very limited. They made ice cream. They made sorbet. Hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, no. uh. You'll be holy inside out. Too much sugar today. Yeah. Too much sugar is a bad thing. Of course it is. It's ice cream. It's made from the bugs. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> he tried feeding the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm just making light of the situation at the moment. <laughs> yeah. But he said it wrong. Yeah, he just he just meant it wrong. <laughs> I like that that ED. ED sounds pretty good. All right, so that's the uh, episode five of Dungeon Meshi, and uh, we like it. It's really good. It's really, it's really coming to its own. Uh, I'm glad I didn't drop it. Uh, the the thing with the uh, the holy, yeah, that totally makes sense. Because usually you splash damage, right? And it becomes just like you you have holy on you, and then probably just the AOE, right? So the ghost can't, or you can't touch the ghost because you're you're wet with holy water, so you can interact with them, right? Or you can hurt them. But one way also, especially because them they have it so limited, just use it on the weapon and just like whack it around. It's no different than like than uh, blessing a weapon and then just like whacking the ghost with it so yeah that's that works yeah <laughs> but the way they did it this just whole episode is just like they, they try to um to uh mislead you and trick you first with the uh the bugs he separated it oh what are those those are inedible who says that that's why i thought it was like poisonous and whatnot because they even had the whole spiel with all that like oh how can you tell oh because this one is this and that this is this and that the whole time, he could have just said, oh, what are those? Oh, those are real. He could have just said that. <laughs> this freaking guy, bro. And I'm surprised um, the half foot didn't recognize it, too. Right? He's, like, holding it. Him, like, I don't know. These are, like, heavier than usual. He's, like, what makes these so different? And he just, like, randomly throw it. Goes, those are gems. G gems, like, real gold coins. So I'm, like, he's the, the thief in the group. He's the, uh... He's the one that opens the chest and is the trap uh, master. Like, even felt something like, wait a minute, this feels a little too real, you know? Just do it. <laughs> I know it's for gags, but man, it would have been nice. Get some money. But yeah, I think this episode's a lot of like, um, they, they try to uh, throw you off and whatnot. First with the bugs and now with the, um, the, the holy water because it looks like he's just gonna make uh one shot like they're gonna bless themselves with the holy water turns out he used it as a weapon it's crazy it's funny it caught me off guard a bit it's funny but uh what else oh and uh our boy's uh developing a relationship with the sword kinosuke right you named the sword already that's it once you name something you attach it <laughs> 
Is it not? Yeah, so yeah, that is a sword. The sword reacts to like enemies, which is nice. Because uh, if they didn't, they would have been like the other team. The other adventurer is pretty died and whatnot. So that's good. That's good on the sword. I wonder when he's going to say it though, because it might eventually backfire on him too. Because it's still a monster, right? It's still a monster on the on the dungeon. So I don't know. It might backfire on him later on. We'll see. But so far, it's like he's developing a relationship with it. Um, it's working with him. Does he even need to feed it? Don't they feed and stuff? Hmm. So he may have find a way to do that. But yeah, I wonder where. How about the other members? Like, are they gonna get more members? Because before they had the samurai guy and a barbarian, right? Even like the the flashback, they had a barbarian with them. That one was not there anymore. She left. Fallon's gone. We didn't see the samurai guy with him during the flashback. I don't think he was, right? During the flashback. Yeah, the samurai wasn't there. Only the uh, only the barbarian. Me. Oh no! Wait, there it is. I was blind. See, there it is. There it is. So these guys left because they had other. They joined another party. Also, they're probably frustrated because uh, they lost the red dragon. And yeah, I want to see more of the dynamic of what happened, like prior into uh, fighting the uh, the red dragon. Because I guess the red dragon was moving around the area, so they got surprised by it. But yeah, the the sister's pretty strong, I guess, in her own right. She's, I guess, a ma white mage, and she did the teleportation magic too, in the, in the first episode to save them. If she's that strong, though, can she like get out of the 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 red dragon? Like, what is she doing in there? She's just like swimming in like the digestive juices, you know? What's going on there? She's being slowly digested. One time she gets out, she'd be like fearing and stuff where she like all of her clothes are gone. <laughs> Maybe uh acid burns on her skin. Damn. I must suck. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Uh see you guys in the next one. Once again, if you guys have anything to uh, write down in the comments down below. And uh yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Right now.